So if you've uh, binged watched all your Netflix series, there's nothing else on TV, you can go ahead and watch this. <laughs> I'm just out here. Uh, I don't have anything to do. My son's taking half a day off. We've got pretty much caught up on everything. We're getting ready to work on the garden. I figured I'd come back. Now I'm cutting the putting green today and I'm doing some micro seeding, which is real small repairs. But the reason why I thought I'd shoot it is no matter what you're doing, the process is same for seeding on this. You barely want to get that seed under the ground, but you do want to get it under the ground. So like I said, <laughs> If you're out of Netflix crap to watch, watch this. So my green looks really good. There is a base of Bermuda, but we have overseeded with both blue and bent dwarf grasses. Um, I had a couple spots of this weird circle fungus, which um, is not a brown patch. I already, I, I told you about it before, but I wanna go back in here and seed a couple spots. So all I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna loosen up the soil. I could see there's actually some germination in here from some other seeds, but I'm just gonna go in here and loosen this up a bit, not too deep. Remember, seeds have their own energy, their own energy stored in the shell. But here, let me lick my finger just so you can see what I'm talking about. See that? Look how tiny those are. They're just super, super, super small. It's like dust. So I'm just gonna go in here and just sprinkle a little bit of this dust. And that should be good. Same thing. <clears throat> just wanna just go in and just loosen this a little bit. If I wanted to scrape it, I could scrape it, but I'd rather not destroy anything that's already living in here. Just a little sprinkle. There you go. So if you've never seen a golf green actually built, it's actually pretty cool. There are multiple layers where they put in drainage and gravel, then they have a rooting mix, which has um, like 50% organic matter. Then they go up to a sand, a heavier sand mix. It's a big, long process, takes a long time. So we came out here the other day and we pulled some core samples for soil testing and they're about six inches deep. So now I got to fix those. So you can see, there's a couple white spots. Maybe you can see them on the green here. Those are those holes and I forgot to repair one. So I gotta go over and fix it. I have to get dry sand. This does not work with wet sand. I gotta get some dry sand. Pour it into that hole. Hopefully it's dry enough. And then once I get to about an inch, I'm gonna put some organic matter in there. This is actually just some soil from my garden, or you can use potting soil or whatever you want. And just put nice, heavy organic matter in there. Try not to get something with wood chips, obviously. And then I'll go back and I'll just level it off. And that's it. And that's how I fix it. I have to keep cutting this low almost every day or every other day to allow that small, small seed to have, be able to reach the light. And I gotta keep it low, like we talked about on our Bermuda. So here was my first cut. <clears throat> you can see how fine. Let me get a little bit of the clippings here. You can see what I'm, what I'm actually cutting here. That was my first cut. And now I'm gonna empty this and do my second cut. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, and it ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to do some cruising, baby, get a little stuck, it's a Saturday tour ride.
So now I gotta go trim my hole. Doc, really? On public video? <laughs> pretty good so I'm gonna test her out I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit some putts just to get the feel for the roll I'm really not gonna try and make them So I'll show you my front yard and then I'll swing the camera around and show you the test patch and show you barbs so you guys don't feel bad. <laughs> because I'm keeping this so short and I'm putting down PGF Complete and Humichar, we've done all of our treatments, mine's looking great. Okay, so there's mine right now. And this is what, April, I don't even know what day it is, April 8th, 9th or something like that. That's looking really good. And then look at barbs, this is crazy. Look at that. And that's because it's taller and it got hit by that frost. On the test patch over there, it was tall, it's taller, it got hit by the frost. And then you look at mine, and look at that. That is so cool. So, here we are the next morning. Green looks really good. When you're, just a note, so if you have seating spots that need to be replaced, you don't have to do a huge amount of work. Remember, grass seed, all seeds, you plant two to three times the height of the seed. So if you have a tiny little piece of grass seed, you only wanna plant it an eighth to a quarter of an inch in the soil. That's all you gotta do. Um, and it'll take care of the rest. Nature will do the work. But if you plant it deep, <laughs> um, it's, oh, there's a good chance that a lot of those seeds will fail. So it's real easy to do spot seeding. Anyways, guys, Hit subscribe, and uh, I've got to get ready for this leveling video we're doing. Talk to you later. Doc.